Hi, I'm Jill from Makeup First School, and I'm here with my beautiful, and I mean beautiful model, Sandra. Hi. <laughs> Sandra's a friend of mine and a colleague. We've done a lot of photo shoots together, and she's agreed to come and be my model today. Hi, Sandra. Hi, my How pleasure to be here. <laughs> Yay! And be beautiful by Jill. <laughs> oh, yes. Sandra does not need a lot of makeup to be beautiful. In fact, she doesn't need any, so instead of doing a natural beauty or an enhanced beauty, I've decided to take Sandra and try to make her look like Debbie Harry. Debbie Harry was uh, with the band Blondie <laughs> and was very popular in the 80s. Now there's been a resurgence of interest in her, and so I thought it would be kind of fun. So luckily we have a similar shaped face. <laughs> My model's already posing. I've got a head start. We're gonna work on the eyebrows and the eyes. We're gonna change the shape of the mouth and do some sculpting of the cheeks. Let's go. Debbie Harry's got a very distinctive eyebrow, at least in this album cover for Rockford. And you can see that it starts down and then arches up and then goes severely down again. So let's get started. I'm using a much lighter color than I'm gonna end up using. So I'm creating a template. For a more natural, realistic look, I'm going over the eyebrows I've created, changing the shape with some powder and a tight brush. We're going to set the eyes with a cream. If you look at Deborah Harry's eyes, she's definitely got a smoky eye. It's a little bit different um, in that it doesn't go all the way into the corner of her eye, thereby increasing the space between her, her eyes and her nose. So, and then it also goes, it gradates out to a point that reaches the eyebrow. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a smoky eye using natural colors and black, and that's it. This is gonna start here, underneath. Our smoky eye is gonna end up going all the way up and gradate out to meet the eyebrow. The smoky eye is going to be here to this point. Starting at this point, creating almost like a triangle. Now we're going to line the eyes and smoke up. It's going to go all the way, a little bit over the crease, and then smoke into that. We want it very angular. There's no curves in Debbie Harry's makeup. It's all straight. Add shadow so that we can smoke our black into that. Following your shape. Now we're going to go into the black powder and go over the area that we're going to grade out Grade eight up. Looks pretty rough. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Rough is good in this application, <laughs> but it will end up clean. Checking the picture. I this kind of shape. I'm going to get a smudge brush, go back and forth. First with the gray, now that we've got our shape, and then with the black. Underneath the eyebrow, there's another distinctive shape that takes place that emphasizes the arch of this eyebrow. And it looks like it's a shade darker, two or three shades darker than the natural skin tone. So again, I'm gonna use um, just a tonal palette and try to duplicate that. We're gonna start with the lighter shade in the shape that we want, right here. The color is repeated in the corner of the eye. Nice. Oh, I love it already. <laughs> I love it too. I'm glad you oh. love it. And in that picture, Debbie Harry's makeup is very matte. So we're not going to add any texture or shimmer. Clean brush and smoke it up. Deborah Harry's eyes are really almost hitting her eyebrows. Smoke it up. I'm going to add a little bit of orange, a little pink. A nice crisp line all the way to the corner. Open. If you want to take a, an eye makeup remover stick or a dough stick, any kind of disposable to create a really sharp edge, put some eye makeup remover right on it and that will help you. Adding a little primer to Sandra's face. Her skin is absolutely flawless. We don't have to do any corrective makeup. A little bit under the eyes, that's about it. 
The only thing that we really want to do when we look at Deborah Harry is she has a very distinctive mouth. She had the bow lips, and it was much shorter than our beautiful models, who's making her mouth smaller. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to try to achieve that without her having to make any expressions. So we're going to white it out. disinfect the palette first, but what we're going to do is we're going to cancel out some of Sandra's lips, as beautiful as they are. But we really want to minimize the length of the lips. Our model is trying to make her lips smaller. <laughs> mm, not working. <laughs> no, it's not working. I need your help. <laughs> yeah, she, she can't talk. First we're going to start just on the lip line, and I'm going to foreshorten it and create the distinctive bow. Very severe eyes, but a very soft mouth. I'm going to start with this color and then go over what I've created as the template and redefining the shape of the mouth. And then I'll probably go and extend over that as well. Very rounded. To further define the lip line, I'm using a little bit of a darker pencil and I'm going to blend it all in. I want to make sure that this is very rounded, not as wide. Whoa, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You look so natural. You like the lips? Mm hmm. I love it. The lips are a little bit flat. We could put a little bit of iridescence in them, only in the middle. There's no um, real shine to her lips in that photo. When you apply false eyelashes, you want to make sure the glue is a little bit tacky before you put them on the lid. Make sure your client's eyes are not fully closed, or I guarantee you, you will glue them together. I'm taking a little bit of the foundation and mixing it with star powder from Makeup Forever. And I'm going to hit the highlights of, of Deborah Harry's face. The cheeks. Not all the way up to the hairline. We're going to use the sculpting, the amazing sculpting that they had done in the 80s. And for that, I'm going to use a cream. It's quite dark. Don't be afraid. I'm going to take some of the brown with a palette knife and mix it with some foundation. Don't be afraid. No curves. 1980. And blend it out. We're creating the shape that we see in the picture. And it's very angular. It's 1980. And gradate it down. We're going to add foundation over this. And then contour again with powder and then check the mirror to see if they're symmetrical. So that really sculpts out the face. I'm going to use a highlight contour palette and a kabuki fan brush so I can really create that very, very severe contour by putting the product only on the tip, the edge of the kabuki brush. It gives you a nice straight line. Then I can also highlight right on top. Do a little back combing, back brushing. And then I'm going to make it a little scraggly here, just like in the pictures. Wow. So I'm Jill, and this is Sandra. Hi. <laughs> who looks like Deborah Harry now at Makeup First School. And this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Thanks to you. Thank you. <laughs>